It's always a little tricky when buying a used car because you never know exactly what you're getting. Sometimes the car is perfectly fine. Other times you end up with a bad deal from people deliberately trying to deceive you about the car's previous damage, even those that have been totaled. It's called title washing, and it is all too common. For this week's Confident Consumer, Angie Barnett with the Better Business Bureau is joining us with what we need to be on the lookout for. Good morning. Good morning, Patrice. So does this happen a lot? Oh, yes, and um, we're becoming more and more aware of it as we have more and more disasters that we're reporting nationally, and uh, we begin to see these cars. And uh, an example, Katrina, mm -hmm. uh, a great example, the UCLA recent uh, flooding at the, the campus parking lot. Remember those? Yes. The footage of all those cars immersed in water. So when they pull those cars out, what do they do with them? Resell them to people who don't know. Exactly. That's wow. that's the whole concept of title washing. Okay. Um, what happens when a car is totaled? An insurance agency should report that car being totaled, and whether it was salvage, meaning a collision, flood, damage, and when they report it, they should give the VIN number of the car and give all that information to motor vehicles. Okay. You should be able to track it. Um, doesn't always happen, and some states are not that deliberate or conscious of this issue. So what can happen is we can fix up a, a wrecked car, we can fix up a flooded car, do some cosmetic changes, you know, bolt it mm -hmm. together, then take it to another state, and get it retitled, and it begins to lose its uh, its record. That's so dangerous, though. It I mean, is. if you're in an accident, or even not in an accident, I mean, you could be the accident just in that. Okay, let's go through um, uh, your list of what consumers can do because you don't necessarily know all that background information. So the best ways to protect yourself, you said, first of all, start with a reputable oh, dealer. Absolutely, Patrice. And, and you really need to go. If you're buying a used car, you need to be aware of your state laws here in Maryland, what laws govern us, what is the concept of as is, and how do you look for this? Maryland heavily regulates the title washing. If a car has been sal uh, salvaged or flood damage, it's gone, going to say. So we're really lucky here in state, uh, state of Maryland. But buy from a reputable dealer. Go to bvb.org. Ask your friends and neighbors. But that's the biggest thing. And that's not as easy as it sounds when it comes to used cars. And because you because it's not, then you need to do some legwork yourself. You say look for water stains and, and milk, that kind of thing in a car. It is so important. Simply lift up if it has comes with car mats, lift them up. If it's got a seatbelt, pull it forward because if it's been flooded, gunk may mm -hmm. be there. Uh, move the seats backwards and forwards. Look on your side deck, but look for evidence of mold, mildew, and just that grime. Um, if the car, I really say go to a mechanic okay. with a used car, make a condition. I'm going to go to a mechanic because a mechanic would be able to look, lift the car up and look and see if it's actually been in an accident and any body damage or axle damage, things that you should be aware of, um, you know, concerned about your safety, as you pointed out. All right, Angie, thank you. Good advice. Thank you. If you have more questions for the Better Business Bureau about today's topic, go to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash confident consumer. You can submit your questions there.